my six minute versus 60 minute skincare routine. And shockingly, this is probably the first time in years that my skincare routine doesn't have the ordinary in it. And my skincare routine has some other amazing things. But of course, we have to start with a disclaimer that my skin is obviously different than yours. I am an adult female and I am acne prone. My skin is on the more oily side, but more recently it's been combo to oily. And I do worry about things like fine lines and wrinkles and if it's Patrick type two. So while I do get a little bit of pigmentation, it's usually red. I am a medical esthetician. I do have access to things such as lasers, chemical peels, etc. But Fun fact, most of the things that I actually do on my own skin are things that are over the counter or can be done at home. And if you wanna know about what tweakments I've had, we can of course speak about that in the future, but first, we have to get to washing our mother face when we wake up in the morning. I don't wear makeup to bed at night. Duh. And because of that, when I wake up in the morning, I feel like my face is not that dirty and I don't even always need a cleanser. There was a period of time that like my dear Dr. Dre, I actually just washed my face with water and went. I still do that sometimes, but especially because I've had a couple of breakouts from some sunscreen, I have been using cleanser. Now, this is the one I'm currently using. It's from Pure AM. I absolutely love this. It's a gentle K-beauty cleanser that's safe for acne. But on days that my skin is really red or irritated or like my subclinical rosacea is showing and I'm bright, breaking out, the Skin Fix is an absolute gem. This has so many great medically proven ingredients that help with everything from fungal acne, which doesn't actually exist, to actual acne to rosacea. Whereas on my days that I want something more gentle, I go for this one and I am pretty much out of this. During the morning, I love myself some antioxidants and I usually go for those in the form of either vitamin C or epigallocatechin 3 gallate, AKA green tea, AKA what I consume in my matcha in the morning, as well as put on my face. Antioxidants are phenomenal because they direct fight against free radicals. We have different things that age and damage and hurt our skin, both intrinsically, things like stress and our diet, and extrinsically, things like pollution and the sun. And antioxidants are so powerful when it comes to skin barrier support, skin luminosity, with helping the skin with fine lines and wrinkles. And a lot of people don't realize how important antioxidants are. And there are a ton of them, but these are two of my favorites. Now, fun fact, I was actually using the True Skin Vitamin C. I love this. It's inexpensive has vitamin C and E and hyaluronic acid, but I've actually stopped using hyaluronic acid and taken it out of my routine. And I did replace it with this from Beauty Pie. This is the Youth Bomb. They call it a 360 facelift. I don't really think it's a 360 facelift, but it has vitamin C as well as other vitamins, antioxidants, and nutrients. This is actually made by a dermatologist and it's very, very good. And on the days that I need more luminosity and a little support under my sunscreen, I go with this. But if I'm getting over acne blemishes or marks or or my skin actually has like a lot of those red or brown pigment issues left behind from something, that's when I go for this. This is from Agency. I love this. I've actually gone through two to three bottles of this. This one specifically has some hydroquinone in it, it has kojic acid, azelaic acid, and hydrocortisone, as well as epigallocatechin gallate, again from green tea. I feel like this is an adult grown up version of Curology and it works really well. And I fucking love this and that's what I use. Then in the morning, I sometimes even skip my moisturizer. Sometimes I only use it at night and I go for my sunscreen, babies. I was using the Trader Joe's version of the Super Goop one and I actually tested those side by side, but I kind of broke out because of it. This one is actually wonderful, fucking amazing. This is a tinted one from Iris and Romeo. It's the weekend skin. This does give my skin kind of a gluey, gluey dough, gluey dough, I hope not. It's a dewy glow. I don't want gluey dough. This is a beautiful tinted sunscreen. It's a little bit thick. So when I actually have like acne breakouts or redness around my nose, this actually helps to calm that down as well as cover it up because it has this slight tint. This is really, really beautiful. It's also got vitamin C. I fucking love this. It's like three things in one and it's an SPF 50. So I use this when I want basically makeup that isn't makeup. But then recently I've been testing and trying this out. This is the vegan sun cream SPF 50 PA++++, meaning it protects against the UVB Bernie and the UVA aging rays. And that literally takes me four minutes. It's, it's literally splash your face and put on an antioxidant and a sunscreen. And then if I'm using this sunscreen, it has an antioxidant vitamin C in it. So I don't even need one of these. Really fucking simple, really fucking easy. And I'm out the door. However, my night routine and my 60 minute routine is a totally, 
totally different conversation. Again, if I'm doing a 60 minute routine, which normally in the mornings I don't have time for, but I will actually cleanse my face. And then usually if I'm feeling fancy, I will go in with a toner or an essence. This is one of my favorite fucking toners. If you have not tried this, this is so good. This is the Centella Toning Toner from Skin1004. And this has one of the highest concentrations of Centella that I've ever found. Centella is an amazing antioxidant. It is absolutely wonderful, hydrating to the skin. I love this. This is also wonderful. This is more of an essence. This is from Papa Recipe, another K-Beauty line. This was actually made by a father for his daughter who had eczema. This is not meant to cure eczema, so I wanna make it clear it's like not an eczema treatment or anything like that. But this is Noble Rot, and they actually found that there's basically this fungus that grows on grapes that is amazing. It is lifting, it is nice and plumping to the skin. Essences are usually for me like an extra hydration step or an extra treatment step. During the morning, even in my extended routine, I do not exfoliate and I do not use any retinoids because they could break down with the sun. You know, I could use like a dappling, but I don't. What I usually use for treatments are actually tools, and these are so fucking fun. I love this for the face. It is gentle, it is sculpting, it is lifting, and especially if I slept on my face or on my side and I'm puffy as fuck. This is like a Jade Roller 2.0. The new face basically shoots microcurrents of electricity into the skin. You do need to use it regularly in order for it to work, and you do need to use some sort of conductive gel with it, so you can't like use it with like an oil serum or anything like that. I use the mini because it's less expensive, and if I have time in the mornings, oh my god, I fucking love this. And then, oh, my fucking favorite part. I literally put this on. And I feel like a cyborg. This is from Dermabeam, and it literally comes with multiple colors. This is LED, and it's actually potent enough to do the fucking work. And the fact that it actually protects your eyes with this, I can see out of it. It doesn't slow me down in the morning or get in my way. And I literally will do this while I'm making my matcha latte and like whipping up my breakfast, which recently has been a Hailey Bieber skin smoothie, and um, it's disgusting. I'm so over the Hailey Bieber skin smoothie. I don't think it's been helping my skin. I think the skincare has been helping my skin, but. For my extended morning routine, while this isn't every day, these are the Wander Beauty eye patches. They're like push-up bras for your under eyes. These are just so much fun. The ingredients in here are so good. And I actually see a difference after using them. And like on a really puffy day, or if I'm, you know, going somewhere really important, I will literally wear these while I'm driving. Like that is, I am that bitch. I freaking love these. The other little patches that I might use during the day are the Killa patches from Zitsticka. If I want it to be obvious, I'll use something like Starface because they have like little stars, little rainbow stars that are super cute. If I want something to go away, if it is an emergency zit, this will get it. Usually spot treatments like this, I will only use at night, but it's usually pimple patches that I use during the day. Now, speaking of nighttime, who does the night routine get interesting? Now I can do it in four if I want to. I can take your man if I want to. Lucky for you, I don't want to. Cause I'm on the rainbow train and obsessed with skincare. So let's take these off and let's talk about the night routine, shall we? We'll start with our speedy night routine. And the first and most important thing is a good cleanse. Now I do do a doo-doo. Uh, I do do a double cleanse. This right here is the Inky List Oat Cleansing Balm. This is really good for dry skin. I'm oily, so I use it as the first step in a double cleanse. More recently, I got this. It's brand new from Dr. Sam. I've been using and loving this. This is the Flawless Cleansing Water. I actually think I'm gonna switch this out for this because of how much I've been liking it. And then because I have lash extensions, this is like great for them. And this is an oil-free cleanser. Now I use oil on my lash extensions, it's fine. But if I'm trying to remove makeup, sunscreen, grime, dirt, you name it, a double cleanse is the way to go, babes. And this is what I've been doing. Now the second step to that double cleanse is again, the same cleanser I use in the morning. I don't use a different one day and night. At night, even on my quick ones, I do use a retinoid, specifically Tret or Retinal the hide. We're gonna to talk about this stuff. I was using Dermatica. This has clindamycin, which is basically an antibiotic. This also has tretinoin in it, and I was using it when I was kind of breaking out here. But although I love Dermatica, like I love them, they only last for one month before you either use them up or they go bad. This one is from Agency. This one is a little bit better for like dark spots, but this one lasts five or six months. And so this is what I've kind of switched to. Now the main thing when it comes to my night routine are these over-the-counter retinoids. These are both eye creams. These are both 
eye creams. I do not use these as eye creams. I use these as my retinoids all over my face. This right here is the Versed Eye Balm, and this is basically like Vaseline and a very gentle retinoid. It's a retinoid that you can slug with. I love it. And it's an eye cream, but use it all over your face. But what I have been using and I've been obsessed with is this from Beauty of Josen. This is a retinal eye balm and it has ginseng or ginseng and retinal. It is basically a K-Beauty super potent retinaldehyde serum. And again, you can use it in the eye area. I use it on these nasolabial folds, AKA marionette lines. I use this on my crow's feet. I use this all over literally as my night retinoid. Now at night, I do use a moisturizer. This is from Ula Henriksen, the strength trainer moisturizer. I started using this in March. And again, when it comes to my skincare routine, I try my best to switch one thing out at a time so that I actually can control my variables. And if my skin breaks out, I know what caused it. Or if my skin is amazing, I know what did it. This actually served me very well throughout the summer as well. I've gone through two, if not three containers of these. Lula Henriksen himself, I just love him. I love this formula. This has vegan collagen, AKA peptides. It has ceramides in it and it works and layers really well with everything else in my routine. Literally, how many steps is that? I mean, it's like, two, maybe three more steps than my day routine, but I can do this in like four minutes and make it super simple. But as you know, I like to do things a little extra. I like to put on some James Welsh, Robert Welsh double cleanse podcast. And while I do, you bet I'm doing my skincare routines, babes. Let's talk about the extended version. And before we even get into like the regular things, I feel like we have to talk about the irregular ones because they're still very pertinent and important. For example, I kind of have a hairy face, but the Versed Derma Planer, I fucking love this. And this is like a once a month thing uh, when uh, mother nature comes knocking. Usually that time of the month is my hint of, oh, Cassandra, your face is getting hairy. Time to do this again. The other thing I don't do regularly, but I do sometimes is this. Now this is the reason that I don't have the ordinary in my routine. This was the last ordinary product that I had in my routine before I switched it out. But this is apparently the India's version of ordinary and I'm just brand new to trying this. But this is from The Minimalist. It's the AHA PHA BHA. So it's like an AHA BHA peel, but it's also got PHA. <gasps> it is like a less expensive version with a whole shit ton of glycolic acid of the ordinaries. I'm testing it out. I'll let you know how it goes, but so far, I'm having a fucking good time. And just the way I use an eye mask on a special extended morning, I use a face mask and a little roller on special extended evenings. The face masks that I use do kind of vary, but these are two that I have been adoring. This is one, this is like my tried and true from Zitstika, one of the best face masks I've ever used because it doesn't slide off my face. So good, the press refresh. This has graphene, so it like grips to your face. And this is like an anti-acne miracle worker. But if you don't have acne and you're worried about like your skin barrier or anti-aging. This has PDRN. Yeah, you heard that right. Remember the thing that they extract from salmon testicles? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, this is sodium, not salmon derived. This is from Genebel. I've actually introduced this to the aesthetic clinic as well. So I'm using this professionally on other people. PDRN has actually been used in a whole bunch of research. Usually it's for pain, but on the skin, it can technically help with dryness. It could potentially help with moisture, help with skin barrier repair, wound repair, etc. And I have been using this and testing it out. Now I have also been doing with this. This is one of those bougie things that celebrities use that I was like, Cassandra, you don't fucking need it. And you know what? I don't fucking need it, but it is so good. There is something about this from Nurse Jamie that is way, way better than any jade roller I've ever used. It's like on a fulcrum, so it like spins and it like grips your face. Oh my God, this is so good. But my favorite thing for really rough days, oh my God, like I salivate whenever I think of this tool. And I think that it's kind of like Pavlov's dogs type of thing. Like I love this product so much. This is from Medicube and boy, is this strong. Again, I don't usually use it on my face. I use it on my neck. You never wanna use it on over your thyroid. So like be aware of that. It is like a high dose of microcurrent or like literal electrical current. And it literally makes my skin jump and it feels so good. And for me, I either work at a computer all day or I'm like hunched over a person all day, it takes a huge toll on your neck and your back. <laughs> and this, this, 
This is literally my favorite. Something from Metacube that's relatively new for me is this. This is the Usera shot. This is supposed to be like skin tightening. I've been kind of playing around with this when it comes to the way that things feel and the results that I see. Nothing comes close to this. The other little extended thing we do before I get to like my regular extended night routine are these CO patches. And I just got a refill because I'm on a subscription with them. They basically have forehead patches, smile line patches, and these chesticle patches. This is basically like, you know that girl on TikTok that taped her face? like that. It's like wearable Botox in a way. And also I'm a side sleeper. So like the boobies scrunch together <laughs> and this whole area kind of gets like a Y in it. Using these little chest patches or using these on the forehead really helps. But when it comes to my extended night routine, let me tell you what I use. Just like on my quick night routines, I use a double cleanse. I want to make sure that I'm removing any dirt, makeup, gunk, etc. That double step is, you know, dependent on what my skin needs. And then just like my extended morning routine, I go in with the toner and the essence and if I'm doing an extended night routine you bet I am putting the toner and the essence on I don't do like the seven skin method or the four skin method ha ha four skin ha ha shut the fuck up okay are we four years old <laughs> yes stop it <laughs> But James Wells spoke about the foreskin method. I don't do that, but I do kind of let these soak in. And that's part of my extended night routine is like letting myself have that moment and like giving myself like two to three minutes between each step and just touching my face. I just, I fucking love touch. Picking people up when I meet them, like Dr. Pimple Popper. This was a moment to go down in history. I'm a very touch oriented person, which comes out in the work that I do on others, as well as what I need for myself. And um, because my cats are the only people that I let touch me, um, they're not even people. Fuck. I am that lady. All right. Well, my cats and dogs and chickens. I'm like, I haven't hugged a deer or a raccoon, but they are outside and I probably would if given the chance. But other than that, my life is devoid of touch. So I touch myself in my face all the time. So this is what I used to do that with. Now at night on my extended nights, that's when I have a little fun with exfoliation. And I am literally so excited because I literally love my exfoliation. This right here is so fucking potent. This is from Saturday Skin and on a fun night. Oh, I will use this. One of the most potent exfoliators that literally makes my skin peel the next day. And my skin is resilient. If you want your skin to be brand new, hydrated, soft, collagen boosted, this is it. This makes my face peel more than the Ordinary's HA BHA peeling solution does. At night, even on my extended nights, I do use my Tret. Again, if I'm a little bit more worried about hyperpigmentation, I'll use my Agency Custom Blended one, uh, which is prescription and actually has Tretinoin, whereas otherwise I've been fucking loving this. And then I go in with my moisturizer, but I do something a little bit fun. Again, this is the Ulla Henriksen, I love it. But I do something fun when I want a little extra pep in my step. Recently, I've been using this from Minimalist. It's salicylic acid, because I have been breaking out like right here. Let me show you this. This is my, this is my little Tret. Trick. This right here is your moisturizer. This right here is an active. We're not just gonna layer them, I'm going to mix them. And we're going to do it using our anatomical snuff box. Give me a thumbs up, babies. This right here is called a snuff box. It's literally this little anatomical thing that goes away and then it pops up. What I do is take some moisturizer. I take it on the back of a clean finger. I take this and I shove it, boom, right into my snuff box. Make sure that you actually get it in there. I don't fill the snuff box up completely, but it's like, 75 to 80% of the way full. Then I take my active of choice as long as the ingredients will mesh well together. You kind of have to know a bit more about cosmetic chemistry for this. But again, this plays very well with many things. So it's usually a safe bet for me. And I literally drop that right into my snuff box. And then I take this and I smear it together and I'll make it into one nice little thing. And then when you put your thumb down, boom, you pick it up, you put it on your face, and you go. This is my favorite way to mix things. I don't know, it's just an anatomical masterpiece that my body has given me and I put it to full use. Now, if I am having major breakouts, I will use a little spot treatment. Skin Fix is really good if it's like rosacea or if it is a little bit more fungal. Otherwise, I think sulfur is a really underrated ingredient. This, so good. Um, kind of, mm -hmm. Kind of smells, I don't know, I'm not big on smells. I love the way this smells, but this plays well with the other things in my routine and I can put this on and literally leave it on all night if I am, you know, kind of having a breakout right over here. Now on those special nights, there are two extra steps that I may take. I do love myself a good night mask. Now what is a night mask, you ask? It's basically an extended wear moisturizer. That's what it is. This is from Elta MD. It's a skin recovery one. Doctors and derms love it. Derm clinics sell it. I wanna be very transparent about that. I've also 
also been told nine times to the moon and back that they're cruelty free. And um, I fucking love them and what they create and what they do do. But something else that again, on my special nights where I'm taking a little bit more time is a nice skincare oil. Now a skincare oil is definitely what I'm using if I'm ever doing gua sha or if I'm ever doing some sort of jade roller. Sometimes I'll use it with the nurse Jamie, but not always. But this right here, I have fallen in love with. This is from Wishful. This is called the Get Even Rose Oil. And again, as someone who is acne prone, I do want to get even. I usually don't wear this during the day, but I probably should start because again, it is so nice. And like, look at that color. That is a potent ass oil. My skin absolutely is in love with this. I tried this on a whim and it ended up being a win. And that's the shit that I put on my face on a regular basis and when it takes me six minutes versus when it takes 60. I fucking love these things. I could talk about them all day and usually a lot of what I end up loving, I end up not only recommending here, but bringing into clinic and helping other people with as well. If you have a question about any of these, let me know. If there's something that I need to try next, again, I could test it and try it and buy it so that you don't have to and try it on my neck and my back and my chest. Or I could actually swap something out the way I did this and try something new in my routine. I'm trying to stick to just switching one thing at a time and isolating my variables, but it's fucking hard, okay? Uh, I just, I, I fucking love these things. These lotions and these potions, they make me feel good. Well, always remember to stay hydrated, both orally and topically. Again, if you wanna custom blend something in a snuff box, go for it. Do subscribe for when I buy and try those products so that you don't have to. And always, always, always be beautiful both inside and out. I didn't say reapply your SPF because you shouldn't do that at night. I guess we did talk about the morning, so <laughs> reapply your SPF. You know the drill by now, babies. I love you, and I cannot wait to see you in this next video. <laughs> love you guys. Bye. Wow, bye. I sounded like that animal in the Taylor Swift song. No.